Thank you for watching. My name is Chris Georginis, and this is a very quick video tutorial of how I created the animation overlay on the video we did of the Marvin Gaye song, What's Going On. Adding the animation was the last step in the project. I had to wait until all of the video edits were done and I had exported out to MP4 format. I chose Adobe Animate CC since that's the animation program I am most familiar with. So we want to go to File, New, and Create a New Document. We want to just make sure we select a document that matches the same aspect ratio and frame rate as the video itself that we're going to be animating to. So in this case, it's just standard HD format at 1920 by 1080 with a frame rate of 30 frames per second. And then click Create. Next, let's go to File, Import, and then Import to Stage, and select the video that we're going to be animating on top of. And now you'll see an Import Video window will open up, providing you with some options as to how you want to import this video. I need to be able to actually see the video playing back within Animate CC's timeline. So I'm going to select the option to embed the video within the timeline itself, and then click Next. In the symbol type drop down, we want to select graphic. And I don't need the audio, so I'm going to deselect that option. Click Next again, and then click Finish. The video will be imported into the timeline and we'll be able to see it on stage. What I need to do now is expand the main timeline to accommodate the length of the video itself. So I'm going to scroll down towards the end of the timeline, and what I want to do is insert frames. This will extend the exposure of the video itself. If I click on a frame further down the timeline, I can go to Insert Menu, Timeline, and then click on Frame. The keyboard shortcut is F5. Now I can scrub the timeline and see the actual video playing. What I want to find here is the actual moment where I want to start animating. The animation I want to create is drawing the actual heart that he's implying. So I'm going to lock the layer that the video is on and create a new layer above it. The new layer is the layer I'm going to animate in. I want to find where I want my animation to start and then insert a blank keyframe to get started. I can go back up to the Insert menu, Timeline, and then click on Blank Keyframe. The shortcut for this is F7. Next, I want to grab the Paintbrush tool. Now I'm using a Wacom Cintiq, which is a drawing tablet, so I will have pressure sensitivity as an option. And here I'm turning on the pressure sensitivity. I can adjust the size of the brush over in the Properties panel. And when I have the size I like, I can click the plus sign and save this as a preset brush. And so now I'm going to hand draw each frame, which is called frame by frame animation or full animation. And what I want to do is continue by clicking the next frame going back up to Insert Timeline and selecting Blank Keyframe, or just hit F7 on the keyboard. You're going to start to see blank keyframes being created without me going to the menu because I'm going to be using the keyboard shortcut, simply because it's just faster. Now, one thing I like to do is turn on the Onion Skin tool. This allows me to see any number of frames before or after the current frame. And so at this point, I am just creating blank keyframes, one frame at a time. I can see the previous frame thanks to Onion Skin, and I'm just drawing. And each of my drawings are conforming slightly to the video below it. Now, once that's all done and I'm happy with the animation, I right-click over the layer that contains the video and I convert it to a guide layer. That means it won't be included when I export this to video. Because what I need to do now is get the animation into Premiere Pro, but I need the background to be transparent because it's going to be overlaid on top of my Premiere Pro project. So let's go to File, Export, and then Export Video, and make sure to check Ignore Stage Color, which will generate an alpha channel. Since we need an alpha channel, I want to select QuickTime Format. And then as my preset, I want to select Apple ProRes with Alpha. You have the option to select a different output folder, but otherwise, just click Export. Now you'll see when we open up our exported movie file, the background channel will be black, but that's all right. That just indicates an alpha channel. And if we scrub the timeline, we'll see just the animation that we created. Back in Premiere Pro, just go to File and Import and navigate to your new movie file with the animation. I'm going to place it on a new track above all my other tracks. 
I'm going to scrub my timeline and just locate the same exact spot in the video that I animated to. And now it's just a case of sliding the footage so that it aligns perfectly with the video below it. And that's pretty much it. That's how I created all the animation that you'll see throughout this video. If you'd like to see more, the entire video is posted to my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.